Kanyan Bao has bounced back into 2011. Here she explains how she ended up on the ramp at African Fashion International's Fast Track event. All right, I was in Malo's one afternoon and I had bought half their store of their merchandise and the girl called the designer and told them that she kind of just walked in and bought 90% of everything that you guys have ever made. And I started tweet picking what I was wearing with head on shot because I was also impressed with a South African designer that could make something so cool. And about two weeks ago, I got a call from them saying they'd love me to be their ambassador and to be a part of their show. And that's how the relationship started. And obviously, once I went onto the ramp, people loved it. And with me, once you go onto something and you must just go out big, I gave people a show that they'll always remember. So what type of responsibilities will you have as a brand ambassador for Head Hon Show? That will involve obviously going to basketball shows. Um, my motivational speaking that I'll start very soon, I'll also push their brand because it's more of a lounging weekend type of look that um, college students and high school kids would identify with. So it's obviously being part of their cause and they also are a part of giving a computer to kids day in school. So I'll also be a part of that with them. So can you, everyone always wants to know what's going on in your love life. Is there anyone special at the moment? I've got someone special in my life. It's very early stages, so I wouldn't want to jinx it by putting him in, in the public space of saying who he is. But trust me, it's not anyone's um, husband, thank God. So where have you been all year? Everyone's been wondering. My priorities have shifted a bit. Um, for me, it isn't about being seen in the best events now. It's, it's about making money. And what I mean making money is really going out there and working for it. So the reason why I've been out of the scene under the radar for so long is because I've been putting down real real deals and, and making sure that they happen. Um, there are big plans, especially in June. Um, June, you'll actually see what I've been doing and what I've been up to. I'm sitting at home and sitting in board meetings with a lot of people and putting a lot of lucrative deals into motion. I've found that, you know, I'm not going to be 20 or 25 forever. I need to start moving into something that's more tangible and leaving a legacy for my daughter and myself.